You're watching the Cooking with Jack show. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Jack Scalfani here, Cooking with Jack show. You know what we're overdue for? Chili. It's brisket, beer, and bean chili. Okay? It's in the title, recipe down below. But there's a few items we added to this recipe and I'm going to show you. So come on in close, take a look at this. Do a quick rundown, some ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, chili powder, tomato sauce. What is that? Oh, pinto beans. We get kidney beans, cumin, jalapeno, onions, bacon, brisket, and oil, and beer. I don't know if you guys know Shock Top, but that's the beer we're doing. All right, so what we're going to do is, the recipe don't ask for it, but we're doing two chipotles and all the adobo sauce in this can. Okay? Then we'll just throw out the other um, chipotle peppers. We're also adding a second bottle of beer right here because I don't think we're going to have enough of this flavor in there. And you guys, the viewer told me about the chocolate with chili. You've done it many years. You, it's one of your favorite ingredients. So we're putting chocolate that is flavored with chili in the chili. It's all chili. Chili, 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 chili. Yeah. Okay guys, in this bowl is the bacon, jalapenos, and onions. Anything else? That's it? Yeah. Okay. So we're heating the pan up right now. That's how I test the pan. When that starts sizzling, that goes in there. So I'm Xing out the vegetable oil in the recipe because I'm getting enough bacon fat from this bacon that I'm so, I'm doing a little different. Do it however you want. Original recipes down below. All right, see how the bacon is sizzling? That means the pan's ready. So I'm gonna start putting pieces chunks of bacon in, keep all the fat, it's going to help you saute. Jumping in there. Alright guys, so we use a little bit of beer to deglaze the pan to get all those crispy goodness of onions and bacon off the bottom where you're going to use a little bit more beer in here but first I'm going to put the chipotle and adobo sauce in here I'm going to show you how I'm going to get all the adobo sauce out I only need two peppers okay you can see all that goodness is that we don't want to lose that okay so this is the peppers and adobo sauce we're going to pour a little bit of beer in there. Okay. Rinse all the adobo sauce off. Okay. Then we're going to take two peppers, throw them in the pot. I'll show you that in a minute. We're going to let that set for a bit. All the adobo sauce, all the liquids getting poured in. That's beautiful. This scene right here is the favorite part of every chili video I've ever done. It's where you dump everything in. So, let's first dump the brisket. Got a whole bunch of brisket. Gonna dump that in. Okay. Second, we're gonna dump the sauteed bacon, jalapenos, and onion. Dump that in. All right. Remember the beer? I rinsed off all the adobe sauce. Uh, adobo, excuse me. Did I say adobe? I'm sorry. Adobo sauce and two chipotle peppers are going in. And some little tiny ones made it in. Then we're going to take the Worcestershire, the ketchup, and the tomato sauce. Pour that in. All right. Got the beans. Those are pin, uh, pinto beans. Got the kidney beans. Love this. So easy. The dry seasoning. 
You don't have to follow the recipe exactly. We're going to put our beer in now. We're putting what's left in the first one. And we're putting a whole other one in there. Okay, here comes the fun part. Ready? Well, it's all fun. All right, so the beer's in there. The chocolate was not in a big bar. It was in little bars. So we got five chocolate bars we're going to stick in there. And these are chili-infused chocolate bars. So, put that in there. All right, got that. Get my spoon real quick. Give it a good mix, a slight mix. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the recipe tells you to cook it on the stove in a pot, but I can cook it quicker in this. I'm giving you the original recipe, but listen carefully. Four hours of slow cooking in your slow cooker is equivalent to 20 minutes in your pressure cooker. So I'm going to pressure cook this. I'll put the pressure cooker lid on. I will see you in 20 minutes. It should be melted. It should be good. We'll stir it up. We'll check it out. See if we need more time. All right, guys. I always warn you. When you open the valve of the pressure cooker, do it with a glove. All right? So here we go. Okay. Let the pressure out, and we're going to open it up. There's still a little bit of steam coming out, but when that little red dropper drops, you're going to unscrew the lid. Remember, water always drips off the lid, so let it drip back into the pot, okay? Don't drip it all over your kitchen. Here we go. Ready? Like that. Let it drip back into the pot. Shake, shake, shake. And put it over here. Let it cool off. <clears throat> Look at that. That looks beautiful. A lot of liquid though. I'm wondering why. Probably all the beer we put in. It's okay though. Here we go. Alright guys. Grab a little bit of your onions. Sprinkle it around. A little bit more. I like onions. If you don't like onions, don't use them. Oh, it smells so good. A little bit of cheese. A lot more cheese. And grab a dollop of Daisy and no, I'm not going to sing the song. Just going to grab a little bit. Alright, just to let you guys know, as we were letting the steam out, the steam was filling the kitchen. My nose was starting to run. So I'm a little worried about the spiciness of this wonderful dish. We may have to rename it. I don't know. We got our cheese and our sour cream and our onions. Get it all mixed up. Whoops. Got our bread in the way here. Alright, here we go. Ready? This is brisket, beer, and... What are you laughing about? I think you're going to burn it now. You think I'm going to burn my guts out? Go ahead. My wife is staying in the room to watch this. This is brisket, beer, and beans that will burn my mouth out, according to my wife. Mmm. It's a little, little high, but... Great. Okay, took care of that. We're back. I love it. A little spicy. 
clear out my sinuses, probably make my voice sound better. Got some garlic bread I'll be chewing on. I love you guys. Try this recipe out. It's down below. All right? Happy holidays, and I'll see you in the next video.